Hello YouTube, it's Reading with RPG Grandma again, and we're continuing the Book of Artifacts, page 9, Adventuring Equipment. Happy Tuesday! Terrific Tuesday! Alright, hope everyone's having a great day. So, our next item is Amazon Purse, also by Mary Easel. Common. Plain leather bag on shoulder strap. Oh, and it um, wholesales for five, retails for 25. Before founding AMLA, that is the Amazon Mutual Life Assurance Company, Twyla Von Lipanova. Oh, we know she runs a company. Oh, she runs Amazon. Was a circus acrobat turning adventurer who liked to travel light. She herself tasted bad to monsters and was always getting spat out, but she lost a lot of purses. Dot, dot, dot. Powders, four ounce each. Dried garlic, dried onions, dried snuff, belladonna, candy, salt, soda, soap, opium, marijuana, Pipeweed, catnip, asofetidy. You might actually have that here, interestingly enough. Wolfbane. I was ha had some of that growing in my garden for a while, but I need to replace it. I, have Bella, oh, I had belladonna too, but I need to replace that. They, they got crushed. Uh, flour, feathers, glue, chicken soup, chewing gum, plaster, insect repellent. Miscellaneous. 300 feet of string, 25 pound test weight. Sewing kit, paper and pencil, clean rags, three yards. Nails, tacks, 20 feet wire, 50 pound test weight. 10 empty, one half cup sausage skins. Five magnets, 0.1 pound each. Whisk, broom, makeup kit, kit. So you got pancake makeup, powder, perfume, and lipstick in there. Mouse traps, three, and they weigh three ounces each. Tin fish hooks, telescoping bamboo rod, 18 inches, and then goes out to 100 inches, one pound. Three bells, two inches in diameter, Stuffed with wax cotton earplugs, four ounces each. One half pound meat laced with opium. One third pound honey laced with opium. Now that is a very interesting purse or kit. It's really a kit. Um, wow but you can see the usefulness of that kit of stuff. Um, so we're gonna go with uh, Amla, probably has these made, um, like they did the backpack. Uh, so which is probably why you can get them at the market. Backpack of convenience. Now this is by uh, Dana uh, Schaefer, right? Yeah. Oh, I will learn everybody's name in this book. DS, DS, DS. Where are you? Yep, Schaefer. I'm, I'm getting it, guys. Okay, Backpack of Convenience. Okay, so it wholesaled for 500 and it retails for 1000 Common, very well-made backpack. Size adjusts to fit wearer. This backpack has been... Enchanted so that whatever the wearer is thinking about will be readily available at the top. Eliminates digging through the pack in pressure situations. Each time the wearer reaches in, there is a 10% or Dungeon Master's option chance that the pack will fumble and give him the wrong item. One, clothing. Two, food. Three, weapon, four, miscellaneous. 
so you'd roll a 1-4-D. And then um, if you got a four, well, you need to know what the, the player has in that pack. But if they basically are using that pack in place of the leather backpack that you would get from AMLA, but has all the AMLA stuff, then you know what's in the backpack. I'm going to do three today. Uh, so uh, we have the Bread Box Augury, also by Mary Easel. And that wholesales looks like hmm, I think it's a two 20,000 and retails for 30,000 but it could be a one but I know that's a two common lightweight metal box approximately 16 inches cubicle with a roll type opening decorated with painted curl shoes and a number 20 when an object is placed in this box, the box will truthfully answer 20 yes or no questions about it. It can tell only past or present facts that relate directly to the object. If asked an ineligible question, it will answer animal, vegetable, or mineral, depending on the composition of the object. The box will never answer more than 20 questions about the the same object. Dungeon Master's option. The object may be allowed a saving throw per each question, i.e. a magic item may have a, a save of 100% against its function being revealed, etc. And then we have a little quote. Of course, they's always turned what gins by asking. Is it bigger then a bread box. M. Humphrey Tappercoom. All right, so we'll do the 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 next two on Wednesday. Um, but I did want to talk a little bit about page four and let me find page four here. Here it is. So, talk about uh, some of the definitions and commentary. That's on the page four. So, turn or round. Often the duration of some effect is given as 1d4 turns or rounds if in a melee. It is often noticed that magic works differently in a stress situation such as a melee. Effects wear off sooner, magic items can be used more often, etc. All know that fear, bloodlust, or other greatly humorous passions increases the manner wherewith the magic works strong and fast and soon over. Newton, Principa Arcana. The term's turn is used in Dracron, items credited Dana Schaefer, for 10 minutes game turn. However, this may and should be varied by the DM to suit the pace of his or own campaign. In a routine mapping operation where encounters are few and three game hours may pass in a six American minutes, the turn might be an hour. In an overland track, it might be a day or week. It usually has something to do with how often the DM goes around the table saying, okay, what are you doing now? Again, dot, dot, dot. Great DM freedom may be used here as a mild effect will usually last much longer than a more powerful one. And we'll go over more stuff tomorrow. I hope you're enjoying these. Have a great Tuesday. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know how, um, how you're liking this. Uh, and keep on rolling one way or the other. Peace out, people. Bye.